Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. Thanks to everybody for all the amazing information about uh, air conditioners and should I get it and shouldn't I get it. I actually went through all the comments uh, with Carol last night, and we also looked up that whole split air conditioner thing that you were talking about and uh, the difference between, you know, buying, uh, I guess, the, the, the pros and cons of having, you know, a, a unit sitting outside the house as opposed to a window and the fact that our house is small, so you might not have to spend two to three thousand dollars on the air conditioning. The other, the other thing too is, uh, this is our furnace unit. So the air conditioning unit would have to sit somewhere on this and I'm not sure if it even would fit. Um, one of my amazing subscribers actually uh, sent me his stepdad's phone number who lives in the area. So he uh, gave me a quote and we have two more companies coming by to give us a quote. And uh, so we'll hopefully know by the end of the day what we're gonna do. After all that said and done, two cool things that are gonna happen. One is we're gonna put that barbecue together and uh, have it all ready because the guy who, uh, he's actually a neighbor of ours who does um, heating work and stuff. He's coming by to hook up. So we have, there's our outside. I had them run that line when we put on our gas stove. And I said, I need a line to come to the back uh, just for the um, barbecue. So that's sitting right there, all ready to go. And uh, so I have to have it ready for him to come and, and hook it up. Hopefully it's not too hard. And uh, that's that. Also very excited, I contacted a camera company and I'm looking for, look at this. Sam just jumped up on the chair. As soon as he did that, Ninja literally jumped over the chair into that area and started bugging Sam. You look sad. Oh, is the cat bugging you? Is this little goofball bugging you? Okay, let's give him the spins. Wee 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 He loves it. All right, back to my story. So I contacted a camera company in Toronto because I'm looking for sponsorship from a camera company who can supply me with new camera gear all the time, keep me up to date, and in return, uh, they could use my channel as a spon uh, as a advertising platform, and I think that would work out for everybody. And I'll be giving your giving you guys my honest opinions on gear that they give me. And uh, I think it would be a really good partnership. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Uh, that would be fantastic. Let me know the pros and cons of that. I don't think there's not any cons, really, because if it's a camera company that sells all the different kinds of gear, then we won't technically have to be stuck to one specific brand, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, there's, I only can see pros in this. Um, I advertise them, they give me gear. Bonus! Time to put the barbecue together. Sam said you better walk me first if you're gonna put that thing together. Right, Sam? Back to work. Tip number one, make sure you know where all your tools are. I just found all the tools in Ben's room. That sucked. Rule number two, don't put these together in the bright sunshine because these black parts become really hot. Just finished cleaning up. All finished up, there she is. Nice. That's the hose, it should reach around to there, no problem. Uh, Megan came out to help me, so <laughs> when she came out, I'm like, don't touch anything, it's hot. And she goes, why don't you put the awning out? That's why you have kids, to remind you about your awning. So I put the awning out and we just sat under shade while we built it and it's all done. Looks good. Cuisine art. Nice big temperature gauge, which is crooked. 
There we go. It's gotta be straight, people. Nice. And I just finished cleaning up all the crap. Put it all in my car, I'll take it over to the dump, hopefully today. But Megan said, uh, keep one of the boxes for the cats. Don't throw it out. The guys came and hooked up my barbecue to our gas line, so that's all done. It's just a quick snap off in the winter time. So it's a season at first, it's supposed to rub oil all over it and then crank it up. Another thing too is this is in the way now, so we'll have to like slide it over just a bit. Of course the cane is in the way. There we go, now we'll bump it as much. I'll figure it out. All right, so Carol's on her way home, and I forgot I was gonna do the uh, seasoning of the barbecue. I think we'll need more oil than that. I'm also thinking maybe we could use the, what's it called? The virgin olive oil. So I'm going to start it up. I'm gonna put the canopy out a little bit more. It's a bit windy. Wind can wreck your canopy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub it all over both sides and then turn it on and crank it. I'll do that too. All right, it's all been rubbed down. We'll try this one, so it's on. There we go. And it spreads. sure we've got heat wish you could see the flames a bit better so you know it's working well it's working Ooh. yikes that one you're not supposed to ever touch the put the lid down but here we're gonna turn the lid down get her up to like 400 450 cool it's getting there just finished my first barbecue and uh, right now I'm just burning off a little bit of the extra stuff that's left behind. We did, um, since the barbecue isn't as nice anymore, just, just trying to char it up a bit. I'm not sure if you guys uh, clean your grill right after or uh, you wait till the next time and clean it before you start cooking. I've always cleaned it before I started cooking the next time. This is the way I roll, man. Jesus. Carol made uh, asparagus that looks absolutely fantastic. She makes it with uh, honey and what? There's no honey. It's just oh. butter and garlic. Right now. Buddy, but buddy and garlic. Buddy and garlic. <laughs> butter and garlic. Sometimes she puts honey on it though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. There's our burgers, and uh, Megan's cutting up some tomatoes. She put on her burgers, <laughs> and her special burgers are inside there. But I can't show you the secret. Oh, there. Mmm, veggie burgers. You are what you eat, so that's what I look like. A veggie? Yep. Release the taters. And <laughs> <laughs> Sam growled. And we did on the barbecue, and it was pretty awesome. So Carol just bought these little foil bowl things and threw some tin foil on with some spices. What spices did you throw in there, Carol? Garlic, chili, pepper, salt, mustard. Did you say pepper? No, I don't do pepper. You said pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper, got it. You, spot, you said chili, pepper. So that to me was two different things. Nice. All right, it's 8.51. I'm on my way down to pick up Ben. Uh, after dinner, I started working on the vlog, tomorrow's vlog, which I don't usually do at nighttime, but I'm kind of excited and wanted to put it together. Uh, I'm trying to save some time for tomorrow too. I gotta put cook, cook and review tomorrow. Then I gotta go down and uh, shoot another cook and review for next Wednesday. Whew. And then I gotta pack to go to Galveston, Texas. Got Ben in the car. What's up? What'd you have for dinner? Uh, hamburger. I had a hamburger. 
we had a hamburger too on our brand new barbecue that we did. You actually? Yeah, Megan and I put it together. Nice. And we only screwed up a couple times. Put the wrong screws. The thing screws. you want to screw up is the is the, the gas line, so that it yeah. comes right on top of the fire. <laughs> That's right. The, so the, that it just it the lights the entire thing, and then our house burns up. Yeah. Don't try and pass them. Your lights aren't on. This guy's going 65. It's okay. an 80. Bad. So on the downhill is the time to pass. I will. So you indicate first. Well, hold on, I have to make sure. I know, well you have to wait for the dotted line too. Technically that's not law. It's, yeah, it's a Technically, caution. Technically it's only a suggestion. It's a stupidity thing. Okay, Ben's gonna pass. Nope. Ben's gonna pass. Now, slowly, build up speed, indicate, go around, nice. <laughs> and technically you're supposed to indicate back in, but I did. Or did you? Oh, okay, I missed that. Nice one, Ben! The guy behind, he's just driving on the left side. He doesn't even care. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cop. And now it's time for Happy Birthday Shoutouts for Wednesday, June 1st, and they are Vincent, Matilda, Jamie, Duda, Johnny. Sasha, Ryan, X-Wing fan, Nicholas, Tanner, and Paloma. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Happy birthday.